Well, this is the collector's attic, in spite of the fact that we're driving around. We're actually driving over to the yeah, attic. We are. <laughs> we're going to grab some trains that we're going to stick under the Christmas tree. So yeah. rather than being up in the attic this week, we're going to be under the Christmas tree this week oh with our Christmas trains. <laughs> so check this out. So on Sunday, of course, we were looking at the railroads of Walt Disney and Ward Kimball. Little toy trains, almost. Little toy trains. Well, they look like toy trains, oh, so we figured do. they'd be perfect for under the Christmas tree. They started off as plantation engines. This, believe it or not, is the Chloe. Oh, my. It didn't stay like that very long. It ended up looking quite a bit different after Ward Kimball fixed it up. But I can't think of a cuter engine to have under a Christmas tree. Those are just darling. Isn't it? Mm-hmm. Now, over oh, 10 years ago or so, LGB Lehman Grossbahn offered the Chloe in their standard 122 scale. Now, typical of LGB, they've sacrificed some detail in favor of making the thing absolutely indestructible oversized flanges and railings and that sort of thing. But this way, even if your three-year-old should get a hold of it, they're not likely to do any damage to it. This makes it a perfect engine to set up under your Christmas tree because you can turn this thing on and let it run for weeks and it won't care. The suggested retail price is over 700, but realistically you could pick these up for about 450. Now, as we all know, there was another plantation engine on Ward Kimball's railroad, the Ole Mana. Gerald Best acquired several different plantation engines and he kept one for himself and restored it rather than modifying it in any way. Here again, LGB decided to do a model of the Ole Mana, but this was at about the time that LGB was going through bankruptcy and the engine was purported to be around and then it wasn't around and then in reorganization they said it would be out and it wasn't out. Anyway, in 2016 they started to just sort of pop up all over the place. Very, very, very similar to the Chloe, equally indestructible and equally functional and maybe just a hint more attractive as a Christmas tree train. Now, a locomotive is, after all, only the power source. It isn't a train until you add some cars to it. And LGB also offered some cars for this train. Now, you could run any car that can make it through the sharp curves that you need to have under your Christmas tree. But this is one of the cars that the original locomotives actually pulled. Ward Kimball constructed one of these little open-air cars, and LGB offered that. Again, classic LGB design. Now the other cars on Ward Kimball's railroad were these sort of uh, gondola cars, rather industrial looking, and LGB has offered those as well. But for our under the tree train, I think having three of the open cars just looks better. So that's what we've got. They've got reversible seats, which is sort of fun, just like on the original. Both styles of cars sell for 70 to 80 bucks. This is one of your favorites. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the Grizzly Flats Depot from Ward Kimball's uh, was also present at Disneyland. Sure was. And fortunately, it's offered as a kit. Sure is. And you built the kit. I did. And we've got a great video on how you put this thing together. It's a really neat kit. Went together easily. Did it? Oh, it did. I decided to dress it up a little bit for under the Christmas tree with some Christmas lights. And they look great. While it's not currently in production, it's readily available for around $160. Now the very first locomotive on Ward Kimball's railroad was this locomotive, a Baldwin Mogul. And Bachman has just released that locomotive in their Spectrum line in 120th scale. This is a re-release of the Bachman Mogul from a few years ago. The original release had a few mechanical problems intended to spin its gears. The paint jobs on the re-released models is really spectacular and they have gotten rid of all of the mechanical problems. This locomotive runs like a Swiss watch. 
perhaps not as ideally suited as an under the tree train because these things require lubrication and servicing from time to time. They run great, but they're not carefree. You have to take care of these little guys. The manufacturer's suggested retail is scary, but they can be picked up for around $8.50. Here again, the locomotive is only the power source. This is the car that Ward Kimball would pull with the Emma Nevada. And Bachman has offered a model of this beautiful little coach. Unfortunately, not part of their Spectrum line. This is part of their big hauler line. And so not nearly as detailed, but still not a bad model at all. They also offer a matching combine car. Each sells for around 60 bucks. As great looking as this locomotive is, it's maybe just a little too much of a locomotive, especially pulling that big coach for an under the Christmas tree train. But for purposes of an actual model railroad or even just simply collecting, you can't go wrong with this little guy. Well, it's always been a great Christmas tradition to have a train going around your Christmas tree. It sure is, yeah. and I always wanted one as a kid. Well, and these are perfect for that. Well, this is about as close as you would get to the perfect Christmas tree train. The colors are perfect. The colors are perfect, and the size is perfect. Mm -hmm. Just all the way around, this is a Christmas tree train. So there we have the models that make up the Grizzly Flats Railroad. Yeah. It's interesting that the famous railroad, the Disneyland Railroad, really hasn't been offered that extensively. There are a few offerings out there for Disneyland right. locomotives and stuff. But um, if you really want to dive into modeling, you can really do the Grizzly Flats. Pretty much everything it's is fun. available from the Grizzly Flats uh, Railroad. It's whimsical too. It's whimsical. It is. It's fun. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed the Collector's Attic on the Grizzly Flats Railroad. If uh, you haven't been over to the channel, do pop on over to the channel. And while you're over there, please subscribe. Yes. Because then you'll be notified whenever we upload a new show, like another Collector's Attic. And the way to do that is to click on the blue button. Zoink! You see the blue button in here? says subscribe that will take you to the channel and make you a subscriber and therefore make you cool mm -hmm. well we're not sure how you found this movie on the internet we hope you didn't find it boring and we will see you here again in a few days with the regular show you see that bye-bye <laughs>